Brake pad replacement should be a routine task for most vehicles. However, the Holden Equinox has a specific procedure that must be followed to avoid costly damage which could easily catch out a technician if they are unaware. This edition of Tech Tips proudly brought to you by the new Our Auto Diagnostic Tool, the essential motor tech companion. Like many other vehicles, the Equinox uses a caliper integrated electronic park brake system that has electronic actuators mounted onto the rear brake calipers. In most vehicles with caliper integrated systems, before commencing rear brake pad replacement, the system needs to be placed into service mode, commonly with a compatible diagnostic tool. This service mode will command the EPB system to retract the actuator, allowing the technician to push the caliper pistons in so that the new brake pads can be fitted. The Equinox EPB system is different. When the EPB actuators are retracted via a diagnostic tool, it will pull the caliper pistons back in with the actuators. The EBCM module monitors the brake fluid level and will abort the process if the fluid level is too high. If working on this vehicle and unfamiliar with its design, it will be reasonable to assume that the actuator has been retracted if the process has aborted. And the actuators have been audibly heard operating, and there are no warnings or errors given when the process aborts. A technician may assume that they now need to manually push the pistons back into the caliper. However, doing so will irreversibly damage the pressure sensors inside the electronic brake control module. If this has occurred, a brake warning light will be displayed on the dash and C0561 with a subcode 43 will be stored. If the pressure sensor is confirmed to be damaged, the electronic brake control module will need to be replaced. For the procedure to verify the EBCM has been damaged and to safely replace the rear brake pads on a Holden Equinox, see the August 2024 issue of VACC's Tech Talk magazine. Log on to VACC Motor Tech or call VACC's Tech Advisory Service.